uh, with the question that the opposition has raised. If we have a clean track record, should people work for us? Yes, why not? If you're educated now, should people work for us? Yes, why not? But are we currently standing for the position of uh, a president of Pakistan? No, we're not. Iran has Therefore, yes, we should, uh, people will work for Iran. Secondly, uh, another thing that the opposition team kind of raised, uh, a point that they raised was that Imran Khan is completely inexperienced. We need someone with experience who knows how to uh, run a country. Let me tell you that Obama was completely inexperienced. He had only two to three years of He had only two to three years of experience in the Senate. However, right now he is the president of the USA. And therefore, uh, yes, there is a, uh, yes, people are going to work for Iran now. Um, coming on to his personal track record, where uh, rejected, where the opposition kind of twisted the proposition's, uh, you know, uh, points by saying that we were declaring him an angel. No one is an angel. None of us are angels. We all have our flaws. However, However, Imran Khan, based on what we've seen and what we can judge right now, Imran Khan, for, from the other uh, alternatives that are present in the country, Imran Khan has a completely uh, squeaky clean track re record compared to those other politicians who have been uh, who have been called on for corruption charges and uh, whatnot. On moral side. Uh, no. Uh, he is a man who has given up a life of easy luxury in London and he has come here to serve the people, to serve us. And this is what the people are seeing at the moment. This is what the people are judging from his actions. He has built Shokat Khan a memorial from the scratch and, uh, and, and billions of rupees go into its donation yet no corruption charge has been filed against him. No corruption charges have been, you know, raised against him. And that just proves that from what people can see, from what people can judge, he is much better than other alternatives that are available over here. Point. No, thank you. Um, they say that uh, Imran Khan uh, does not represent every ethnic group of a party and people do not know its cabinet ministers and whatnot. People vote for the uh, uh, people vote for a president. They look at a president. They are not voting for the cabinet ministers. They are not voting for you know who, who uh, all the behind the scenes people who are uh, responsible for uh, you know to run this organization, people look at the person who is running the country and they judge on that and they vote on that and from and according to that, uh, yes, Imran Khan is uh, Parliamentary democracy, man. Is, uh, yes, Imran uh, uh, Khan is a great candidate. Um, coming to my third line of argument, I would like to uh, uh, state this uh, state uh, the argument from a point of view. Well, my third uh, line of argument is the policy perspective. What policies is Imran Khan uh, offering? Tell me. Uh, well, his economic policy is he has agreed to build dams. He is ready to eradicate corruption and. Um, uh, we we can see the proof of that through this recent campaign that he uh, that was launched during the IPL, an anti-corruption campaign on uh, regarding match fixing. So uh, he worked on that, and he truly believes in eradicating corruption. And uh, let's face it, here in Asif Ali Zardari, hello, thank you. Here in Asif Ali Zardari. Your talk about uh, eradicating corruption is kind of ironic as compared to Imran Khan, you know, talking about eradicating corruption. Anyway, um, the second uh, is his local policies where he declares equal rights for the minorities. 
uh, in this uh, era of uh, in this era of uh, political warfare and uh, and uh, in this era of gang wars and you know provincial uh, provincial uh, civil wars that is taking place. Uh, he is openly declaring equal rights for all kinds of minorities, be it Hindu, Muslim, Christian, whatever. And secondly, he believes in the strengthening of judiciary and um, therefore there, there won't be political leaders, uh, corrupt political leaders who are kind of dusting their wrongdoings under the carpet. He is giving greater control to the law. Therefore, um, uh, and uh, thirdly, on his, control, no, thank you. <laughs> thirdly, on his education policy, here is a guy who is actually well, well educated and values education, being well educated himself. So therefore, he is he provides a greater uh, probability of valuing education and actually doing something to promote it. Thirdly, the uh, Coming on to the foreign policy, uh, he advocates distance from US and um, and to have closer ties with China. Let's face it, US doesn't really give a shit about us. Alright? So um, China is probably no thank you. China is <laughs> one of the few allies that we have. And by supporting China, we ensure in a greater ally in a powerful ally who will help us at the time of need and um, honestly um, <coughs> the way US is going the only reason that it kind of came out of its economic crisis was because 647 billion dollars of China are in the US bank account and China has been uh, kind of sustaining the USA and giving it the financial boost that it needs. So, therefore, I would like to uh, end this uh, uh, debate by uh, saying that uh, people would, in judging by what they see, people would definitely vote for it. Before the second speaker comes up, I'd like to remind.